All right, and we are back with some more Horizon. Almost said zero done. Horizon Forbidden West. My name is Mars. Welcome to the channel. And without further ado, I'm not even gonna hold it. Let's get into this video. I might cut this part out, but I'm gonna see what's see what's over here. But first, let me see what building this is. I mean, they have the 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 bridge, but. Are these actual places right by the bridge? Or are they just like all just different random places bunched up together? <laughs> Why does this look familiar? I wonder what happened to these Lots of food. I wonder what happened to these these huge machines like these like you'll see the ruins of it but you don't like I don't want to fight it necessarily but I wonder why the the real big ones like these aren't aren't working or aren't around anymore we are on the bridge here are the cars Look at this. Alright, so at first I completely forgot where I had that damn boat. <laughs> so I tried swimming all the way over there. Like I went through these lands. Then there was like a big machine over here that I, I didn't feel like killing. Then I tried to swim, but the current was too strong, so it just pushed me back. But then I remembered the boat is over here. So we have to go all the way over here to go back to the mainland, I guess. And yeah, what is this? I should have. Oh, it's a little another island. I guess I'll check that out later, maybe. I'm sure we have to be back this way anyway, so it is what it is. Also, when I was editing uh, this, the last part, because this is a new session. Today is what? April the 12th, Tuesday, 8 15 p.m. Um, I was trying to think of that game. <laughs> That game that I kept saying like an underwater city or something and the detective's name, the main character that you could play was Booker and you got to escort Elizabeth or Liz, I think it's Elizabeth, right? And I real remember, I remembered what the game was called when I was editing. The name I was thinking, the, the game I was thinking of was Bioshock. See, I knew it would come to me. But yeah, that's what I was thinking of this whole damn time. <laughs> so yeah, Bioshock. It was Bioshock. I do have, I think, all three games. But for the most part, I, this is before my channel, so I think I've seen the uh, Red Barad do it. That's pretty much... Red Barad is like the only YouTuber that I really uh, used to watch. Especially when it came to gameplay. The only gamer I'm actually subscribed to, actually. So, he... I believe I was mentioned this in a different... A different walkthrough. Like, way, way back. I want to say Last of Us Part 2. But yeah, he... Made me want to start my own gaming channel, so... Shout out to him. I haven't been watching his videos, of course, because the main games I do want to see are the games I want to play, and I play for myself on the channel. So, here we are. Alrighty. Finally made it back to the base. It took me about 20 minutes to get here on foot. <laughs> so maybe in um, Aloy's world, that's about a good, maybe half a day. 12 hours, maybe. It did go night. Well, it was daytime and it went night. But 
here we are we are finally back oh, man that took a while jeez all this all this and i try not to go the same way i came because of those like those remember that thing i had went through that i thought was <laughs> something i could pick up it was like a red light but it was like a bomb or letting like the enemies know that i was in the area the invisible uh, machines in the forest. Mm -mm, I tried to tried to go around that. Mm -mm, I was in the mood. I didn't have my mic on, so I tried to avoid any encounter I can. And that was a lot of encounter. I wish these doors were just automatically open when I get to it instead of me having to press the damn button. Welcome back. Hey, Lord. I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega Clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you'd better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Of course, from 35 hours to four and a half hours, that seems convenient. Do we have to uh, protect this base while it's happening? Or the base that we're going to be at or whatever? I need to change. I keep, uh, keep forgetting to change their damn outfit. This stupid outfit they made us switch into. Hold on. They've just been chilling this whole damn game. I thought it was going to be more of a team. but A team for me, but no. Well, except for Var, Var my boy. But damn. And I haven't seen Kantal since he got he even got here. So, <laughs> where is he? I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zenus for good. And in order to do that... We have to get Hephaestus. The Zeniths are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. 
We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? I don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost, he raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. That's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You're right. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel. I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Beta believes the Zenus want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over, so they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. To 
Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. Though the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. Ted was trying to make himself immortal. Didn't end well for him. For every success, there are many more failed attempts. Some more grotesque than others. The Zeniths. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. So from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the Rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Erend, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance.
Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. <laughs> Attempting to compensate. It's cracked. Look! That means machines are on their way. Get ready! Here they come. Of course it does. Jeez. I'm surprised that having them both use the same name and the same clearance even work. You would think that since it's like a login. Like if one person is already logged in, you can't log in again. But apparently it worked somehow, so whatever. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, mother... And that took my health down how? Gee. Tag it. Come on, jump, girl. Gee. Get your hand over here. Can't you see I'm busy? What the hell you mean you need a hand? Gee. This one ain't coming after you. This is the biggest one. It's always the biggest one. I gotta fight. <laughs> this is the same as really angry. as the last time we had to fight one of their uh land gods. Jeez. You know how many times I died on that shit too? Jeez. Hey, well, if you don't get the. F get back. I'm back to cursing. Get up! Jeez. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Hold down. Aloy, you're wounded. Over here, you. Wow, please. Hey, Aloy, need a hand over here. Oh, I'm busy, Varl. You ran right in the past, stupid. Why are you over here? You should be fighting other people. Get mind your business. Jeez. Stay back. Oh. You don't mind your business, you little you know what this is pissing me off. <laughs> Come here, jeez, you idiot. Move! Wow! Move! Bitch, I could do it too, bitch! <laughs> Fuck off me! Right. Get a hand over here! For why does he keep j he goes in the direction that I'm jumping in? Or why you keep switching direct? Whoa, damn! Hey, Get a hand over here. Go, damn! Fuck you doing a you know what? I swear to you two okay hold on hold on hold on all right today's episode is nothing but fucking rage now first of all I had to take my earphones out because <laughs> for one Varl was pissing me off especially uh um what's her name beta because Varl kept saying uh Aloy over here or I need, like, we need help over here or something like that. First of all, both of these damn enemies was attacking me. So what do you need help with? Like, what are you talking about? Two, these, this big little 
Like once I jump out of his way, all of a sudden it wants to go in my direction and then still somehow hits me and then it tramples on me. You know how Aloy takes forever to get up. And then when you're when it's like on top of you, it'll start doing like that little weird like levitating thing where it like lifts stuff and then it like uh pushes everything out and hits you. That kills her automatically. You know, an Aloy takes forever to get up. I can't dodge that. Ridiculous. What else am I missing? Now all of a sudden all these damn medicinal plants wanna come out of nowhere. Like, geez, this part pissed me off even more than, uh, yeah, probably even more than that part where we have to deal with Zoe's, um, land god. And that, the land god took even longer than this part, but, alright, technically this is a new day. <laughs> I stopped recording yesterday because this was just irritating me. And I figured if I stood, like, if I, if I took a little break and come back, I'd be fine. But once I started, which was, well, like 20 minutes ago. I had to take my earphones out because, man, this was <laughs> making me rage. And they always have you, like, with these these certain um, enemies, they always have you, like, in this, like, weird, weird area. Like, you can't, this is too, you have to keep jumping everywhere because everything isn't, like, really, it's, it isn't leveled. So you have to keep jumping. She keeps getting stuck right here. It's a horrible place to have a boss fight, especially with these big things. Especially with no help from Vile. Yeah, you saw him hit him a couple times when the thing was already down, but jeez. The health was already down, but jeez. Uh, Aloy, over here, we need help. With what? What was Beta saying? Beta kept, <laughs> kept saying she needed help. Like, girl, nobody, they didn't even notice she was there. It was just me. And it'll attack Vara for like two seconds and it'll see me find the damn big thing and it'll come over there where we're at. Like, geez, I had the rage. You were talking before I left? Still breathing. I bet you is. No, I did, um, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, uh, when I was losing my mind, I did try to, I did actually update this. But I guess because I kept dying, it didn't <laughs> it didn't register after the death, so I have to do it all over again. So give me a second. I did change I did change her outfit back too, so I have to do that too, so But of course I kept dying. And of course, for whatever reason the damn loading screens was longer for this part than it is for the rest of the game so far. Like why is the loading screen taking so damn long? That pissed me off too. Like, geez. I've been doing good with not cursing so much, but this video is nothing but rage. Jeez. Give me a minute while I re rebuy these damn things, I guess. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna be. In the meantime, keep her safe, Thoral. All my life. <laughs> Why well, she said keep her safe like it's her daughter? So I'm like, you notice the the emotion she had when she said that? I'm about to glide in this bitch. Hold up, what is this? This video is gonna be nothing but me cursing. I'm gonna have to fight something else, something big too. Look at this area. It's uneven. I'm gonna have to fight something. I'm gonna rage again. So, check this out, man. Watch me get irritated. Oh, yeah, shit. Gotta go get my clothes. I gotta put my clothes. Hold up. Let's get this over with. I'm gonna rage so much in this part. Come on, where are you? Kill the slaughterhouse. That That's kinda big. Wait, what did it say? Slaughterhouse or slaughter... What did it say? It's not slaughterhouse. What is it? Slaughter spy. <laughs> okay, this looks kind of fast. I ain't gonna hold you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what this thing does, but it is cool, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? 
It's like a dinosaur. I love it. Or watch me get mad in a minute. Hold up. You're getting a little bit too close. You're getting a little bit too close. Get up, Aloy. Jeez. She gets knocked down and she takes her sweet ass time to get back up. It gives them a lot of time to swing on her and she dies. Don't you. Hold up. Ooh, almost got me. What hit me? These big ones keep running in my direction and it stumps on me. She. T How many times do I have to say this, man? This. Jeez. Despite me about to die at some point. Get. Oh my gosh, Aloy. Oh, you just destroyed my. You son of a. See, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get. I swear to. I swear. Wait, they say frost, right? Yeah, so let me see something. What the hell? Oh my gosh! I swear to you! Aloy, you Aloy. You about to be the main reason this thing get a damn bad review if you don't move. Jeez. Stop playing with me. Where you going? Where you going with it? Where you going with it? And she still be on my side. Festus back to you. Hey, if I was gonna die <laughs> cause I was close and this health was all the way down I wouldn't play this game for a good week. There's a lot of adding I have to do for this part. Jeez, this, this may still be the same part. I don't know but <laughs> jeez. Then you gotta deal with these damn machines going in your path. They go one way and then suddenly go the other way. And they're too big to be doing that. Like, either way, you're going to hit me. So why? Oh, my gosh. Forget it. Just forget it. And you, Earl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Is it raining all of a sudden? I think it's raining. Aloy. Hopefully you don't hear it in the in uh, audio, but whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our core is stable. Festus is 100% contained. And we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get Beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. 
Screwing around. Now we're having fun, right? Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! <laughs> <laughs> 